very excited that it is the Ramsey Motorcycle Show. And uh, here to tell us all about it, we've got Steve and Luke in the studio with us. Uh, Luke, how are the nerves at the moment? Yeah, fine. Yeah. All good. Yeah. You seem really chill considering this big event you organise is happening on Monday. <laughs> yeah, it's become a little bit routine for Steve and I now. We've done it for a number of years. Um, how long have you been doing it? Uh, Steve's been doing it a lot longer. Possibly over 20 years I've been the bike show. 20 uh, years? Yeah, 20 years. And Luke Gosh. joined me about five years ago. And yeah. how has it changed yeah. in that time? Um, well, five years ago we moved it from outdoors to indoors because the weather was always a important factor <clears throat> yeah. so we're definitely indoors now so it makes a big difference yeah and it kind of does what it says in the tin doesn't yeah. it Luke? it is a bike show so it, you it get all kinds yes. <clears throat> yeah we've got a, a diverse range of bikes that usually come to the event and there's something for everyone no matter what you're interested in and um, there's a number of stalls as well um local bike clubs and um charities as well come along and it's a good day out and uh, if anyone wants a bite to eat there as well, we've got Babbage's Bistro on site at the Mountain View Innovation Ooh. Centre. So it's uh, really caters for everyone. Um, so, yeah, really good Full day disclosure, out. I did think you said if anyone wants a bike to eat then. Oh, I think well. that might be taking it a bit too far. <laughs> might, might be going to it? the dentist after that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Steve, in the time you've been working on it, you must have seen some incredible machines. We have. Uh, <clears throat> there are so many bikes on this island and some you see and some you never will see. Uh, it's just nice that they come out once a year. Uh, good display, and after the show, we might not even see them again. Um, we've got certain people got 20 or 30 bikes and, and sheds, and it's nice that they bring them out. Um, Milltown uh, House, they've got a selection of bikes, they often bring one or two. Um, they've got like, the Vauxhall motorbike, which oh, is yeah. a very expensive bike, um, very, very old. Um, we've got machines from 1920s up to modern day. It's really interesting to see. And I'm guessing since you've had it at the Innovation Centre, that's what's made it possible really to have bikes like this, hasn't it, Luke? Yeah, I think a lot of people were a bit reserved previously to bring a bike out, depending on the weather. But now that it's guaranteed dry weather indoors, um, you know, it's safe for anyone to bring any of their prized possessions along. Um, yeah, really, really great day. And it's, it's amazing to see what motorcycles come out of the woodwork and that you don't see, you know, on the road. A lot of people don't take these prized possessions out there. Um, so it's really good once a year we put the show on and, and uh, see what you know type of bikes turn up. What are some of the bikes that stand out to you? Oh, I'm, I'm big into my custom bikes and, and I like some of the Japanese classics as well. Um, um, so yeah, cafe races, cafe and races and things thing. like that. Yeah, yeah. one offs unique. Um, I'm an engineer, so to see some of the the one offs that people have built is really really up my street. So what it's good you, to see. And what about you, Steve? Is it the co- sort of older stuff that you're into? The vintage yeah, um, ones? early early classics, uh, 80s. Um, mostly Japanese stuff, uh, but then you get a bike and you just have to admire it. You know, you, you think, well, I never ride it, but you've got to admire the engineering and the work has gone into it. Um, so it's really fantastic to have them there. Um, yeah, it's just a special day. So who can bring their bikes? Because you can just you can turn up on the day, can't you? Yeah, so we don't ask for any pre-registration. Anyone can rock up on the day. We just um, ask that they turn up about half an hour before, so about half nine, just to allow for setup. Um, and all we ask is a £5 donation to the Joey Dunlop Foundation for anyone that does want to enter a bike. Um, but for anyone coming to spectate, it's free to spectate. There's free parking as well. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, an accessible day for everyone. And bikes mean prizes, Steve. There's yes, prizes. Uh, prizes. <laughs> uh, we do a various a range of prizes for different classes. Of course, not knowing what bike's going to be there is, is sometimes difficult. But we've got a good idea from past experience what classes will be there. So we, at the moment, I think we've got seven, eight different classes. So there's a, there's a very good chance your bike will be in a, in a class of some sort and you could win a, walk away with a prize. Yeah, one of the more interesting prizes we do as well um, is the people's choice. So every bike will be given a, a number on the day and then the spectators can come and vote for their favourite bike. So it takes away from the judging side of it and uh, puts the... Uh, the onus on the public to, to decide, and that's one of the awards as well. Just to make your lives easier, yeah. really. <laughs> We've got um, <laughs> Lieutenant Governor Sir John Lorimer coming along this year as well, and he's going to judge the best in show, Very um, which fancy. is really exciting. So yeah. is, is he into bikes? Is he a bike fan? Yeah, he's a, he's a keen motorcyclist. Um, yeah. I believe a couple of years ago he's actually got his own motorcycle now, um, and he rode to the show one year on he it. He did, yeah. And opened it up for us, so it's great to have him again this year to to come and judge the best in show for us. It's sort of, I, I think of the, this motorcycle show essentially kind of gets you revved up as such, oh, for the TT, doesn't it, really? 
It does, yeah. It certainly gives me an excuse to get the bikes out and polished up before TT. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have bike envy, though, won't you? Oh, so, yeah. as you said, hot food as well, which is yeah. great. Stalls to visit. What's on the yeah. stalls? What kind of stalls have you got? Um, so, we've got uh, Manx Grand Prix Supporters Club, Open Face Racer, which are a local um, clothing company specialising in motorcycle types of clothing. Um, Paul Devon, who's kindly sponsoring the prizes for us this year, he's coming along as well. Uh, local racing clubs, Andrea's Racing, got Jerry Dunlop Foundation, Road Safety Team, and a few more, yep. haven't we? Yeah, so. yeah. And the Jerry Dunlop Foundation, Steve, is a fantastic charity, isn't it? They've been coming every year for many, many years, and we've been letting them set up by the door. So as you walk in, you pay five pounds to enter your bike, or if you just want to give them a donation, even better. So as those entries free, please bring some change with you, and there'll be a couple of charity stores there. Um, be grateful for your money on the day. I think, as you said, Luke, this is such a good day out. And it's for all the family at the end of the day, isn't it? It is, yeah. No matter if you you want to go and have a look at bikes and, and bring the family along, there's things for them to do as well. So, so it is yeah. on Monday, bank yeah. holiday. Yeah. We're, we're praying for fabulous weather. But yeah. the point is, as it says on the thing, bikes are, I love this, warm and dry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they are, because yes. you're inside the Innovation Centre. Yeah. It's a brilliant venue, isn't it? It is, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's got such a great capacity. Um, we can really cram a lot in there. So Excellent. It's good. Well, we hope it's fabulous. Uh, will you be sharing photos and video again like you did last year? We will, yeah. yeah. Um, the Facebook page, Ramsey Motorcycle Show, you can go on there and have a look. Um, and we usually do a little video roundup of how the event went. Excellent. So if you have a fabulous bike that you don't often show people, this is a good excuse to get it out there and, and show it off and go and see some other fabulous bikes as well. So it is on Monday. Bikes must arrive for 9am so they can get everything set up. But you can just go and have a look if you want. £5 all to the Joey Dunlap Foundation. Uh, Stephen Luke, thanks very much for popping in. Uh, oh, go on, Steve. You've got something you want to say? Just one more thing. Can I give a big thank you to CTH Insurance? Yeah who are paying for the Manx Radio advertising for us this week. Thank you, CTH Insurance. Yes, thank you very much. Very grateful.